Thanks, Rainey. One year after losing the state championship game, rugby is returning to the B Class B Boys Basketball State Tournament. But if the Beavers wanted to add to that run, they needed to sweep fourth-ranked Adrian College. And that is exactly what the Beavers did. Third-ranked Beavers look for their 18th straight win against the Dakota College at Bakno. The Minotauros have been the best road team in the NAHL all season long. And now, they're the best road team in the history of the league. Although the Beavers did get the win, a slow start kept the game scoreless through one and a half periods of play. The game tips off on Thursday at 1 p.m. at the Bismarck Event Center. We'll have highlights for you on Thursday. Rainey, back to you. Friday night, the Monad State hockey team will play its final home game of the season, and six seniors will suit up at home for one last game. Out of the seven games that the two teams have played, Minot has won five. And the Minot Minotauros dropped the heartbreaker to rival Bismarck in a shootout on Saturday. The number 13 isn't always considered lucky, but for the Minot State hockey team, that number holds an important meaning. I got a chance to spend some time with the team as they prepare for the ACHA championship. Legendary hockey coach Herb Brooks once said, Great moments are born from great opportunities, and that's exactly what the Minot State hockey team has. Minot State forward Brad Nesport knows what it's like to win a national championship. It's honestly probably one of the best experiences in my hockey career. I mean, just the group of guys we had and just everybody kind of coming together, it was, it was a really special experience and I'll, I'll remember for the rest of my life. Although the veteran players know what to expect, the younger guys believe that the team has what it takes to go the distance. I think this team can make it all the way. We've proven ourselves against top teams and even in those games we've lost, we've been right with the other teams, just on the wrong side of things, getting bowed bounces and stuff. So I think uh, if everything turns out well, we can win it. The Beavers went 28-10 and 10 this season, including a streak of 18 wins. And coach Wade Regeer says playing their style of hockey will be the key to having a deep postseason run. The reason why we're number three is because we played so well throughout the season playing defensive hockey, which a lot of guys bought in. Our young guys have understood our culture. <laughs> One thing Regeer stresses is that the guys have to remember that the Nationals are a one-and-done tournament. And staying focused will help the team out in the long run. It's always the next play. We never look back. You cannot dwell on things. If you had a bad period, you always have another period to make a play and just having that mental focus and preparation to do whatever it takes. Although there might be some nerves, the guys say they know what they have to do to hang a second banner from the rafters of Mesa Arena. Every season the Minotauros are allowed four import players and this year they have fulfilled those spots. New to the roster are Swedish defenseman Rasmus Sorgard and forward Tim Atley, Russian forward Alex Kasitsin, and Finnish goalie Ate Talvanen. And while the roster is mostly American, Coach Marty Murray believes that having these guys will better the team. We're trying to create a culture here that, uh, you know, a winning, winning uh, franchise, and, and, you know, these guys are all here to move on to the next level. While the game is different in Europe, the opportunity these guys have to play in the NAHL will be life-changing. People in Finland, they don't realize how good the hockey really is here, so that's like the big key, like to be like, trust that there is good hockey in, in the U.S., like it's like go to college and stuff like that. It's, it's a great like experience. Because of a smaller rink and a faster game, it will take time for the guys to adjust to the playing style. But with the help of their teammates, they know they can adapt to North American hockey. It was a lot different for me coming over here, like, talking hockey talk like what to say so they helped me out a lot with that the guys have been great to me and uh, we learn stuff from each other you know I come from Sweden we have a different way to play over there even though there are junior hockey leagues in Europe the guys believe that playing for the Minotauros will better their hockey career I think it's more interesting to play here because that's a lot of fans here I, I mean I'm I compare this junior hockey league and my junior hockey league back in home I, and it's totally different. Not only are they building a relationship with their teammates, they are also building a special bond with their Minot host family. I got pretty good family. I'm, I'm pretty happy like about my billet family. I can actually call them my real family. They helped me, helped me a lot when I first came here. Like, 
They bought me a phone. With new hockey skills and friendships, the guys know their time in Minot won't be short-lived. It would be great to come over here and visit if I'm not coming back to U.S. after this year and see how every, every guy in the team has it. For NBC North Dakota Sports, I'm Yovana Simic.